welcome to vlogmas day two toaster <laughs> was with me i've already got myself all set up with all the things that i need this morning i really thought i would wake up feeling like super refreshed but i did not i've been up for a couple hours already been doing some chores and you know showering and getting ready and now i'm just gonna sit and relax for a little bit luckily there's a lot of space in my morning to do that today feeling very grateful for that so um, even though I'm technically now day two already behind on my pants, I'm going to keep up my routine with the blanket in the morning. So I've already grabbed December 2nd of Fangirl Fibers. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. All right, our Sears toy catalog day two. Oops, try not to rip the stickers. Oh, well, I ripped the sticker. It doesn't matter. That makes it easier for me to put them back in there. So let's see. Oh my goodness, that is so fun. This light is not really doing it justice. It is um, a rainy day outside, which is so lovely for just kicking back and relaxing, but you can't really see this. So I'm gonna guess that this is maybe like a My Little Pony kind of a thing. Hang on, there we go, that's so pretty. But we'll do the guessing game later with Kent. For now, I'm going to eat my breakfast, drink my coffee, wind this up, and get it in the blanket. And I never did finish Home Alone 2 yesterday. So since today is the last day of November, tomorrow I'll actually get to start watching Vlogmases. So I'll just finish up the movie this morning while I get these projects done. The movie is over and I have finished up my stripe on the granny stripe blanket. And I also did the last couple rows I needed to do on this um, and put in my needle. I don't know if you can tell there are two needles here. So I am ready to do the like closing the fold over part what that I needed the provisional cast on for. So that's good because I'm going to go ahead and get that all finished up and figure out how many rows I need to do for today. I'm kind of noticing my gauge is a little bit big on this. I didn't truly gauge swatch. Actually, I didn't gauge swatch at all, but because I've made um, another one of the Little Wolf's patterns at the same gauge, but it was in another yarn, I just went with my needle size I used for that. So I think I'm going to go down from a three to a two and a half, um, at least for the waistband. And then that will give me a really good idea of my gauge because the waistband is like five inches of stockinette. And even if that ends up being a little too tight, I don't think it's going to be, but if it is too tight, I could then switch back to my three for the rest of the um, pants and it would be okay because it would be kind of nice almost for the waistband to be a little tighter. So I think I'm going to take a break from Advent stuff, maybe do a little work before I get back to this, but it feels nice to at least be caught up on my blanket for today. We have been practicing for a new game. What are we calling it? <laughs> okay, ready?
Toaster's so cute in the background. Come sit right here. I better read the. We already list. have the things. Oh, you have to get the list. Okay, so Ken's gonna guess our December 2nd Fangirl Fibers. And after that, we're gonna open up a homespun house because it's already getting dark outside and I haven't opened it up yet today. Come sit. Okay, what color do you think it is? I'm gonna guess it's like pink and cream. No. Let's see. No pink. Blue? A little bit of blue. I know that Emily said she had to be kind of creative with the colors because if she didn't, everything would be too similar. Okay. So you said pink and cream? Yeah. My guess was gonna be My Little Pony. Yeah, okay, that's it. It is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, I'm so good at this. This has never happened in my life. Okay, so I think the colors here, will you tap on the screen? There we go. I think I can see your little eyes looking at the soccer game. <laughs> I think the colors are like their mains. Kind of look like this. Oh, well, that's not my idea of the cream. I guess I just, I don't know if I've ever seen My Little Pony, but I just imagine like a pink little horse with like cream colored horse hair. No, their, their manes are like colorful, I think. I don't know, I don't remember. I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud of you too. <laughs> Do you want to sit here while I open up this one? Okay. You can. What was this one? This is, so this is from a homespun house. They're, she's out of Germany, but I don't know what, if there's a theme. Okay. And the, they have, there's little like labels. Look how cute they come. Oh, huh. that's Isn't really that pretty. Cute. Yeah. So I I do believe that these colors are going to kind of go together. And look how cute the label is. It says Advent on it. And this one's called Bohemian. Okay. Yesterday's was a um, mold wine. So I don't know. But this is going to go really nicely with my other one. If I ever get to it. I already, I messed, I messed up. I'll come tell you about that later. I don't know why I'm taking the label off. All right, back to work. Back to work. So during lunch today, I was confidently putting this together and it was kind of like bubbling up. I couldn't really figure out why until I looked at each of these a little more closely and I realized I have like five rows here and only three rows down below. So somehow I missed a row, which is okay. What I'm gonna do instead of adding one more row to the side that has three rows on this little fold over is I'm just gonna take back one row of the other side of it. I only got like this far. I think once I get past this part of the pants, it's gonna be smooth sailing, but it has been a bit of a rocky start. This is for me? Mm hmm Your favorite. Thank you. Kent just went over to our friend's house and he says he has treats for everyone. You want to say a treat first? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let me... Ooh, it's gonna be something good. What are those? Like dog treats? Yeah. Let's see. It's a kebab. A kebab. Oh, He's a good boy. There we go. Okay. Tuesday. Can you just that's, have the whole thing with the that's stick? That's from your Uncle Eddie. <laughs> okay, I'm ready for my treat. My tail is wagging. Ooh, what is it? It's the koalas I like. Mmm, what flavor? Chocolate. You don't like those anyway. Give them back. Oh. You don't like them. <laughs> that's upset. This, though, I think you will like. 
It is. Is it Laval peppermint chocolate chip cookies? No. <laughs> it is cookie dough banana bread. Hmm. Whoa. Oh my God, that's so heavy. Cookie dough banana bread. Well, we're definitely going to try that out. We'll have it for breakfast. It's like, it must be like three pounds. It's like as heavy as the weights I lift at Pilates. I am finally done with the fold over part. This is not hard to do, but for some reason I made it the most complicated thing ever. I don't know what my deal was, but thinking about it, like I just started this yesterday, so it's really not a big deal. Sometimes just getting started on a pattern takes longer than the rest of it, right? Okay, so I think I'm good to go now, even though I have one fewer, one less, one less row here in my little fold over. It is so tidy. It is so much better now, right? Not that bubbliness that it was doing before. And I switched down to my size two and a half needles, which is so cool because I have interchangeable needles now that go down to a two. Um, by the way, these are the Chowgu Forte needles. And I have some things I like about them and some things that I'm not so keen on right now. I like the needle themselves um, a lot, but like, I'm not used to this metal, that metal sound. I don't know. I think that's just, that's just probably a me thing. It's probably not an everybody thing, but I can like feel it in the back of my teeth, if that makes sense. And I don't get that with my other Chowgu needles. Um, so I don't know what that is, but it's, that's like a small thing. But what I am having a harder time with is these swivel cords. So let me see if I can show. They're really cool because they can swivel, but there is, I guess, just the way that this has to be. There's like a little bit of a, a gap to get up onto the needle there. And I don't know if that will become easier as I'm just going and flowing in the round, but right now it feels like a little bit of a struggle. So I ordered a um, red lace, I think that's what it's called. I ordered just like a regular cable that doesn't have the twist um, and it should be coming in tomorrow, I think. So I'm gonna switch that out with the same needle tips and try that and see if that kind of, you know, dials down the other things that I was feeling. But in between here and here, that you can't see because they're metal tips and wood in here. I don't feel any kind of like resistance here when I'm knitting. You can definitely like with your fingertips, you can feel that like there's a difference in materials there and a little bit of like a change, but nothing's getting stuck there at all, which is just beautiful. So I'm really liking the new needles that, you know, getting used to them. There's a little bit of things here and there, maybe just a cord swappage is what I need. But I love that I have size two and a half and I have twos and I can just switch them and they're interchangeable. That is so cool to me. And the cord is beautiful as all Chalgu, Chalgu, sorry, Chalgu cords are. Anyway, we're hoping to get out tonight. I'll talk more about that in a bit. So I'm just gonna carry along. I want to do, I think like, 14 rows total in this and I have seven. So let's see how many I can get done before we have to leave. We're getting ready to head out and just kind of walk around a little bit, I think. Um, originally we were thinking about going to the Rockefeller Center uh, tree lighting, which is like the big, there's Ken, the big famous tree in New York City, but we didn't realize how involved it is. First of all, they don't light it until 10 p.m. and it's 7.15 and we're just not down to hang out that late. Um, but also they have like a whole big show. Who did you say they had there? So like Blake Shelton and who's he married to now? Gwen Stefani? Mm -hmm. And then so Dan and Shay and is it Andrea or Bo Bocelli, Andre Bocelli? I don't know. It's like a big thing. So the we don't Rockets. think the Rockets. So we knew we weren't going to get close, but I didn't realize it was like a performance. So we're just going to kind of go walk around or around the surrounding area and see what we can see and give you a little nighttime New York City. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach 
Reach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Just come in to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do we'll be It was so nice to get outside of the house and a little, get a little bit of exercise because how far do you think we walked, Kent? Like a mile? How far do you think we walked? Uh, maybe. Mile and a half? Mile? Anyway, it was nice, but now it's time for some dinner. We have leftovers from last night and probably pick out a Christmas movie. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. Oh, yeah. Kent and I both liked the Wednesday show, so we might be watching more of that, but I want to get to bed on time tonight. It's already after 10, so it's time for me to make my way to bed. I have just one more row to go here on this first color from yesterday. I thought I was at a stopping point, but then I measured my row gauge and it looks like I'm probably um, instead of getting eight rows per inch, I'm getting more like nine rows per inch. Um, so I had to do a little math and readjust things. And I'll kind of keep monitoring it from here because it's hard to tell from just like a little bit like that. But this is the first time I had day one and day two next to each other. Check this out. They're going to go so nicely together. Basically, the base of this is pretty much this color. So I'm excited about that. I'm feeling, at least from the first two days of both advents, that I've made the right choice on the more cohesive one with the pants and the more like different colors and everything for the blanket. So tomorrow's another day. I am hoping to wake up feeling nice and refreshed and ready to go. But for now, I'm gonna say good night and I will see you in the morning. Yeah.